The more you know it's Feisu Yuki. No, wait. Watasi wa Feisu Yuki death. I love you, Colonel Sanders. It's Colonel Sanders, this is why I was Professor Dog best friend. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Woo. We blow dance. Oh, watch him cook, watch him make. Yummy KFC. I wish I could eat 90s KFC. Because KFC now is not that great, but okay, whatever. We can get a game. Yeah, yeah. Woo. So. We're playing I Love You, Connor Sanders, a fringle licking good dating simulator. What's your name? Well, my name is Yuki. Good sir. Ooh, look at that. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. If it was the 90s. <laughs> I, I don't like KFC nowadays. It's not as good as the old days. Oh look, we got a little boat. We got booby band poster, some jewelry, chicken picture, hearts. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow for the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and sweet, and you could stay in this moment forever. Or you could wake up now, now, now. You're the first day of culinary school. There's no time to sleep in. Snap that clock. It's annoying. You lie in bed, staring at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time be begins to fly by and your imaginary nation gets away from you. You need to take this seriously! You better make sure you arrive prepared for the first day. You brush through your morning checklist, brush teeth, check, hair, comb, check, pits, deodorize, check. Nothing can stop you now. No, not at all. You, you confidently grab a biscuit. You scrunch out the door and head off to class. I totally said that one word wrong. Whatever, I don't care. Just what you need to get your blood flowing. A biscuit. I guess. Okay, ooh. We got a pretty high school standing in the cloud. You gaze upon the madness. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. Magnificent University of Cooking, a school academy for learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most ad adorable, awkward person you ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Yuki. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of her lives? Actually, I'm. Because I'm sure I am excited, a little nervous, uh, okay, a lot nervous. <laughs> what the? It's just this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I have no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam. Raised by Master Chef parents, she always held herself to a very high standard. Look at her face. The tears. Ever since we were little babies playing together, you rescued me from the quicksand box. It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're gonna do great. <laughs> but the University of Cooking Academy for Learning famous free day only semester. I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatics. The summer she got it so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. That face says all. You chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Okay, then. Uh, gossip, of course. It's hard to see Miriam like this and frankly cry. Quite exhausting. Rather than dwelling on her anxiety, you can change the subject to something more interesting. All summer, you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy mystery student has a world at this school. Yeah, that's a little worrisome, but you'll be fine. Now, what about this mysterious student we read about on the school message board? Any new deeds? Uh -huh. Oh, keep this. I heard his name is Hadlin, and he's no ordinary student. They say he has powers. He had them ever since he was born. From an egg? An egg like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Look at her eyes. But the thing about having powers, it would line up with some of the other rumors I heard. Like, I heard he once fought a bear with just his smile. 
You both sigh. Oh, think about the student so handsome that the laws of physics don't dare apply to him. Dreamy. Before you can even get another world out, you're rudely interrupted by someone smacking your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Hey! It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but fill with be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Her boobs know it, too. Look, she got this little heart boob clothes thing going on. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken skin shins. You leave Yuki's shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. Well, thank you. Ah, oh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name's annoying. You know a fact that's actually Ashley. I knew it! But she had to add the extra letters just to make herself feel better than anyone. If anyone knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his only reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they'll walk walking glutes. Ahem, <laughs> Van Van! Look at her eyes. You wang. <laughs> You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you know them, Ashley and Van Lan have been just as close as you and Miriam, but more devious. I can't believe the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? I think they just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us as professionals. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just no time to properly tell these two off. So you resist the urge. Good plan, good plan. Oh, look at her face. She's like, Ugh. Let's go, Miriam. Psh, see you later, losers. As you approach the door, that noise is annoying. As you approach the door, you see that noise right there. You see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. <laughs> you reach for it and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you. My name is Pops. I was named after Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this be a student at the school? He must have one heck of a sh He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob. But I guess he's weaning it upside down. That's kind of cute. Hi, Pop. I'm Yuki, so... Are you gonna make me hold this door all day? Nope! And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Aww. Is it just me, or is he kinda cute? I think it's just you. <laughs> you both saw your shows before following him in the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. All the students wander in and keep themselves busy with chit-chat. Nice looking school. A scruffy-looking pooch takes place at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable! Now, as adorable as my dog. My dog's the best dog, but you're cute, too. You got your little glasses and chef hat. Now, now, quiet down, everyone! Who's this reasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Splinkles, head ex instructor and CEO of UCSAL! Please call me professional dog. I may be cute and a little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof! That is <laughs> so cute. What a cute dog is our professor. This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up nuance of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to wash around you as a swirl of cherry blossoms petals fill the air inside the classroom. Beautiful. Not you, kid. The cherry blossoms. I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then he walks in. Oh, my God. Guys. Guys, stop. Oh, my God. Oh, just stop. Look at look at this man. Look at him. Oh, my God. We are not. Everybody, just look away. You're not worthy. You're just not worthy. We are not worthy of him. He walks in. 
He immediately swept up by the womb of the new stern and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. I know. Look at that man. Look at that goatee. It's him. It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Helen. Connor Santos interrupts Binker. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Please call me the Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hus mumble rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisles of death. Suddenly the womb is swelling. Sweat begins to bead across your throat. But oh man, it's so hot in here. You feel like everyone is looking at you and you're not entirely wrong. Oh, jeez. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Maybe we should open the window back up before... Faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. You both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class, okay, guys? And what is with your really weird insults? You take a moment to clean yourself up. Wait, it, uh, man, it's too hot here, okay? It's hot, man. It's a good thing you didn't forget about the deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Professor Dog steps in and settles the class down and sets some ground rules. Welcome to the University of Cooking Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary lessons, past, present, and future. The many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. They might even be adorable tiny foods. He's so cute. Oh, look, he's cute when he's mad too. And then when all said and done, there will be a battle. And you will lift your sports and compete in the boom cooking area. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Hi, guys. I'm sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss. Quiet! Late to class is bad enough, but you interrupted my monologue. You're on the la fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Look at his face. That dog. He's so cute. Don't you recognize me? This is like... The third year in school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Don't know you, dude. Sorry. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word. Before I finish, look at that cute puppy pups. Let's be a lesson to you students. A tiredness is unacceptable. Even Clark made it here on time, mowing halfway across on his tiny wheels. Oh, look at the cute little puppy face. You turn to see the student. Spanglis is referring to what appears to be some sort of industry kitchen appliance. Buzz! The class bursts into laughter. Oh, Clark. Or Clank. The rascal. Spock does walks and clacks as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into air and takes a deep whiff. Your diet... Is lacking. <laughs> Look at his face. Based on what I'm picking up, you definitely need multivitamins. You should take a better care of yourself. <laughs> He's so cute. You never had a talking dog teacher before, but Spankler's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to butter him up by giving him a treat from your own pocket, but what time? What kind? Well, because this is a friggin' KFC game. I'm picking the chicken snack. Why would I pick beef? When it's KFC, chicken, jeez, these questions are too easy. You reach behind your apron and we turn with a chicken snack in your hand. Sp Sparkle's eyes go wide and he locks onto it. His favorite. Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for the new student. The professor, the furry professor immediately devours a snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. Ugh. Can I wash my hands? You see the other students, aren't you jealousy? Aha, in your face, everyone. Oh, look at the little chicken on the stool. But you pay no mind to them. If they want to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. I know, so true. Always need to have that. Sit down, young chefs. Take your, take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to amazing possibilities. Of culinary creations. As everyone wants you to claim their favorite sleep, you're last standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Yuki, there's a seat still here. It seems like no one has claimed the seat next to me, if you're interested. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's two options, but what would I choose? Now, Miriam, I know we've been best friends for life. 
since we were babies. But this is freaking Colonel Sanders, and he wants me to sit next to him. I need to pick Colonel Sanders. Look at that man. Look at his goatee. Look at that pretty goatee. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears that he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect uptight posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident and desire to learn. Thanks for offering me this seat, Connell. Look at his posture. I am the best. I only had two roles. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you'll ever get feeling of accomplishment, accomplishing the feeling of accomplishing, com, com, accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. Oh, man. And look at his pose, guys. His pose is just so magical. Look at that man's face. Everyone, you're not worthy. Look away. Look away. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you sit into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think of fast. It's time for a pub quiz. Yay, a pop quiz about me! No, Pop, not you. This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready for a life at culinary school. Keep your knife sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling at point A, how important is washing your hands before cooking? Um, well, it's extremely important to always wash your hands before cooking. Every cook should know that. And I'm looking at you, Pops. Right, that's right. The forest is to trees as chicken as is to a slam duck. No, it's to feathers. Jeez, that's right. What is the most affected eating chin? Most affected eating and tinsel ever we might created? Well, I'm guessing a spork because you have sporks at your store, right? That's right. What food is the best for a broken heart? Anything, as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. I wish the KFC near my house, I wish they prepared the food with love. They do not. They don't, and it's so sad. They just gave up on life, guys. That's white. Is Sprinkles a good boy? No, yes. He's a talking dog that teaches at culinary school. He is the best boy ever. That's white. But not as best as my dog, but you are the best boy in this game. Your score is a perfect 5 out of 5. Wow, to be honest, did you te cheat? No way, cutie patootie. You look to see Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your scores. He's impressed. Oh my god, guys, Colonel's impressed with me. I know, we just met, but I have to confess. Yes, Colonel, what, what, what is it? I think you have a beautiful brain. Oh my god, thank you, Colonel. You make my dream come true. Hot diggity, Yuki. You just scored some major Colonel Sanos points with that performance. Thank you, thank you. If I may have your attention, students. Yes, what is it? I have an important announcement to make. Yeah? Yeah, what is it? It's time for lunch. Oh, dude, that's not it at all. Wanna know what it's time for? It's time to say goodbye, everyone. Goodbye and good night. I'll see you next time.